Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video from Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today I'm going to be unlocking the cellar building from the VIP shop. So I'm very fortunate that I was in a position to be able to unlock the VIP shop because I do, uh, you know, I am a small spender in the game and um, I unlocked the VIP shop uh, probably about nine months ago, halfway through playing the game. And uh, as you level up through it, you can obviously gain various benefits of which the cellar is one of them. Now, a couple of things to note. The seller is an expensive item to purchase in the VIP shop, 1.4 million VIP points. So that's a lot of gems required to save up those VIP points. Um, in terms of the benefits it actually gives you, we're going to have a look at that once I've unlocked the building. But uh, for me, the reason I'm doing this is because I've got so far into uh, my buildings now that I'm literally I'm down to my last few buildings that I can unlock. Um, well, this is the last building I think that I'll be able to unlock in the game. And I've got very few buildings available that I can use. So you can see I've literally resorted to upgrading the market, even though I'm a raider. Uh, so that's that market's going to level 25 uh, tomorrow on a Tuesday. I already upgraded the Farmer's Guild to level 25. Uh, my fortress is at level 21, but the defensive components are really expensive. They're, you know, it's 40,000 gems uh, for 10,000. How many is it? It's 40,000 gems for... Yeah, a thousand defensive components. So I've been saving my gems to use on other things. Uh, I probably will start, well, I'll have to start upgrading that a bit more as well, focusing on that. Because I've got Royal Prestige, I'm able to upgrade the Workers Guild and also the Royal Charcoal Factory. So those are those have both got like three or four upgrades left to do. My Lumber char my, my lumber Storage 3, that's its last upgrade and then I'm on to I think I've got three more upgrades for my ale storage and my charcoal storage and then that's it I'll only be able to get points on a Tuesday from um, using Dragonite so a few people had noticed in my previous videos that I was upgrading the market and but everyone knew that I was a raider and so that's why I've been doing it because I literally don't have any other buildings left and that's my main reason for unlock focusing on saving up these points in the VIP shop and unlocking the seller. So that's kind of just to give you a, a broad idea, base idea of why I'm doing this. Second thing to think about when spending your VIP points is that on Mondays, on gathering day, you do get Clash of Province points for any VIP points spent. So today's event, you can see spend one VIP point in the VIP shop, that will give you eight points towards your Clash of Province score. So for those of you that do are in the fortunate position to have the VIP shop unlocked, if you're looking to unlock any of the privilege items, which is, um, if we go into the VIP shop, we have the two sections, privilege and item. Privilege items, uh, privilege are usually um, gonna cost you more VIP points. Like you can see the name tag is four million points. So if you're you looking to do any big expenditure on these kind of items, then you should do it on the Monday to get your Clash of Province points. It means you just have to gather less. Um, on a Monday as well, you also get the VIP Raffle Lucky Pack, which is 10,000 VIP points. And then that usually gives you anything between, well, worst case scenario, I think you get 10,000 back. But best case scenario for me so far, I've got 50,000. Um, so you almost, you always end up at least even and better off. Um, so that will give you some more VIP points pack. Plus on a Monday, you can obtain 10 super recruitment tickets. So that's really good as well. If you've got half a million points saved up, you can get 10 super tickets. Uh, so I've got 1.5 million points saved up for today. And I now the other thing to think about is the hourly challenge. So on this hourly challenge, uh, you want to get the one where you get uh, spend one VIP point in the VIP shop gives you eight points towards the hourly challenge. So I've waited specifically for this hour, doing it on this day, uh, so that hopefully I can get a third rewards chest and I can get loads of points back. I've already activated my 100% Clash of Province item. Um, so I'm all ready to go. So let's get the cellar open. So into, you'll see it's one of the items on level three. I have covered this in my VIP shop videos. So if you want to have a look at those to see what else is available, please do go to the VIP list. It will be in the um, in the video description and also I'll probably tag it at the end of the video. So 1.4 million points. This is going to give me 11.7 million XP, uh, which will be a nice jump. That will take me um, up to about 67 million XP. So 50 million left to get to level level four on the VIP shops. So it's going to be a couple more months before I hit that, um, but we'll keep going with it. So here we go. There we go, 56 million points on my Clash of Province score. So that was nice. 
and hourly challenge 11.2 million points so that's great i've hit the hourly challenge and got some gems back obviously plus the hero tokens and then on the daily that's taking me up to 76 million points i already got 20 million from my gathering party from doing a full um full load on them so that's nearly 77 million points just from vip uh, benefits from today and that's why vip shop is really key to improving um, your ability to hit ninth chest on mondays so you can see down here i've got a building available and it must be here so the seller is going to cost twenty-eight thousand in gold so that's all right let's get this built five minutes and it needs 104,000 of food so that's built immediately and now let's have a look at the details so Gold protection is going to give you gold protection and resource protection cap. And obviously, the lower the level, the lower the protection. Um, starts with 3,000 on your resources and 1,500 on the gold. Maxing at 1.6 million on resources and 1 million and 40,000 on the gold. Power increases are not great on this building, to be honest. It maxes at 16,636. Um, but to be honest with you, the last kind of from what yeah from level 19 onwards you get at least a thousand power increase so that will be helpful for me in the coming three or four weeks um, I think I'm probably gonna only have about five or six weeks worth of uh, building upgrades left and then I'm, I'm gonna be maxed out so uh, that is the seller in terms of upgrades yep so it's just gonna need gold food and lumber to upgrade it uh, so that's nothing you know nothing too major nothing special required and um, i'll be doing maybe i'll do a couple of upgrades on that tomorrow um and that's just basically giving you more protection for your resources and your gold if you get hit and you lose the battle so obviously you do get a certain level of protection um you know from like your tavern and things like that but and depending on what um, class you are as well of course that has an impact you can uh, pop cards in your cloud card manual to help with uh, your resource protection uh, depending on on who which class you are but uh, this is just a building that's going to give you a little bit extra protection in reality i mean a million is not that much is it um what was it 1.4 million yeah 1.6 million on the resource protection hmm so you can basically go about two, a little bit over two million on your resource protection. Um, yeah, depot protection at the moment is six hundred sixty-three thousand uh, with the seller at level one, I guess. So you're looking, yeah, just over two million for each resource. Um, I know most of us would run with more resources than that. So it's it's not, a, if in my opinion, it's not a great building um, to purchase. It's not one of the better benefits from the VIP shop. Uh, I would rather have spent. Uh, 1.4 million points on the um, well particularly on the smart use speed ups for building a re well research actually because I've still got quite a bit of research to do that would have been a nicer way to use my points but like I say I was just desperate to get another building for the points on a Tuesday because I'm at that stage now so there we go guys that is everything on this video on the seller I hope you've enjoyed it if you have why not click on that like and if this is one of the first videos you're watching on my channel and you haven't already why not subscribe and ring that bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel which is daily and if you could please share my channel in your alliance chat province chat and for those of you in Eden on the guild chat and maybe even the province chat that would be brilliant and if you use line whatsapp via a discord a share or a like or a comment about the channel uh, in those forums if you're communicating with fellow players in the game that way that would be great too thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you soon